Jonathan Kylie with Fly Skins. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a soft tackle. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite patterns lately for bluegill and crappie and warmouth. They actually really love this pattern. Uh, you can make it in multiple colors. I'm going to use um, some of the new Fly Skins, Exo Skin, the gold and brown. Uh, did a previous video how to make the strips pretty easy to do and uh, I'm going to do it on Daiichi size 10 here it's got a long shank but it's got a really small uh, hook gate which is great for bluegill patterns alright so I've got some Viva 6 aught thread here it's a rusty brown I'm go ahead and start by coating the hook shank here with some thread wraps And then I'm going to stop about the three quarter mark. And I'm going to take my uh, strip here. I'm just going to cut a little point to it with my razor scissors. These are made by Loon. They're super awesome for cutting this material. All right. So I'm going to take that point. And I'm just going to kind of tie it down. And then as I move back, all I got to do is stretch it. And then that way I don't create a lot of bulk on this pattern. Work my way through forward and as I tie it I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to kind of go back and forth with it just to achieve the body thickness that I want so I'm going to start real thin and then I'm going to always overlap the halfway point uh, to create the abdomen. So this fly has been around for a long time. Uh, the purpose of this fly I believe are for um, aquatic insects that are hatching or starting to uh, molt or turn into the next stage of their life cycle. Okay, so I'm going to go right where my thread was, the little over three quarter mark there now. I'm going to go over this a few times just to make sure it's not going anywhere. I can work my way back a little bit. Now, this isn't the traditional way of doing a soft tackle, but it's a pretty cool way to do it I think. Uh, you get some really cool texture to it. Uh, it's real fast, easy. Uh, quill bodies are a pain in the you know what to work with as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, And then this one's going to be different again because I'm going to take some of the Shaggy Dub by Hairline. I'm going to take a brown and I'm going to put it behind it. That way it uh, creates kind of like the legs as well coming out. So this is going to be a lot different than your normal soft tackle but everything I do isn't really normal anyway so it's kinda par for the course there put my dubbing loop tool in there take the brown with the legs here it's gonna create extra movement for you when you're kinda letting this sit or you can actually kinda slowly strip this through the water and they usually will hit it on a drop get next to uh, some rock on a lake or uh, under some brush. Uh, this is a particularly good pattern. This would be a great caddis imitation for uh, those emergers as well and the streams. I'm going to move that stuff back out of the way and I want to come back before I cut my thread here. Alright, so that's that. I'm going to pull this back and I want to work back just enough to where I can still get my hackle in there. Um, what I'm going to use is this uh, guinea fowl olive here. Uh, before I do that though, I'm going to brush this out. It might be a little more than I wanted, but it looks extra buggy. I'm going to try to trim, pull out some more of these rubber legs here. I just really like the looks of this fly. It just looks really really good to me. Okay, And then how you do the soft tackle part, if you've never done it before, uh, you can do it a few ways. If you want less hackle, you can strip off one side of this feather or you can leave it. Um, I usually leave it and I do one wrap. <clears throat> Let me show you here. I leave a little tag in here. Kind of move this back, put it into place. A couple wraps to tie it in and then you can break that point off get a couple more on there. I know 
I've seen it where uh, you can take a little super glue and put it down in case you're worried about it um, being durable. So I'll go ahead and do that. I always keep toothpicks on my bench. It's a great, cheap way to do glue and epoxy and whatnot. And I do like to use glue and epoxy. It just makes stuff last a lot longer. I can tie quicker. Alright, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to slowly wrap it. Usually I only need a couple wraps, okay? So I'm going to take this and the reason why is people usually strip the side off um, is to prevent like a big crazy mess. But you go in and you tie it off. I can go ahead and I can take those excess fibers now. And I can kind of just fold them back and get them out of the way and they'll be useful. Now I've got a 360 degree feather there, feather wrap. I can build my thread dam here. And uh, I have tied a few where um, I also put a little dubbing in the front and kind of brush it out, especially like the ice dub. Gives a little extra flash. It looks really good. Half hitch real quick. I'll come in. Do several more loops. Okay. dab of glue here and then you don't have to worry about it another thing I like to do too is I'll make up a, about a half a dozen and then I'll go ahead and take some brown glitter and epoxy and I'll hit up the heads if I want a little add a little flash to them come in just get that little spot thread there and there you have it cool little effective panfish pattern, trout pattern, you name it. Uh, this fly has done it for generations. No reason to uh, stop that from working. Uh, just evolved it, kind of changed it up a little bit, make it look a little more buggy. So, hope you enjoy it on this, uh, this segment of fly skins. Thank you.